Aloha folks, are you planning on moving to Maui with your furry friend? Well, you're in the right place today. We're gonna cover everything you need to know to plan bringing your pet to Maui. We're gonna cover it all and we're gonna speak to an expert who knows everything about the whole process. Let's do it. Aloha, Brett Christensen here with Maui Property and today we have with us Karen Haney with Maui Direct Release. Welcome uh, to our channel today. Thank you. I thought it'd be great to come on over and talk story about bringing your pet to Maui and if you could please help educate us sure. on the process. Sure. My business partner, Nicole, and I have been doing the direct release for over 20 years now. And sometimes it's very confusing to people as far as what, when, where, and you know, the process. So it can become really complicated. Over the years, we've made a little checklist cheat sheet. Uh -huh. It's a one page form that goes over from start to finish, when things are required, when they need to be sent into the Department of Ag, rabies vaccines, microchipping, fab and rabies titer test needs to be done Okay. all before anyone can come to the state of Hawaii without uh -huh. any quarantine. One of the common concerns is that people don't realize that if you do everything ahead of time, there'll be no quarantine period. If you don't do the things, then you can have quarantine up to 120 days. Oh wow. That can be either done on Oahu Mm -hmm. or they can be transferred over to the Hawaii Animal Rescue Foundation, which is our uh, business partner, mm -hmm. and they are the animal quarantine facility. Mm -hmm. So the Department of Agriculture has to have an approved facility in order for someone like myself to do the direct releases at the airport. I see, if I see. If they go to the airport and there's a problem or the person doesn't have a health certificate or there's something that's going on with the pet, then we take them to the HARF property where we quarantine them, contact the Department of Agriculture. That happens 0% of the time. That's good As long as someone follows our directions. We're huge on communication. Great. So we would rather have somebody call us 100 times than have any kind of whoopsies or you know delays in their process. It really depends on what people charge on the mainland. I find we're a little bit more cost effective, or not cost prohibitive, and more affordable than uh, most of the other places, including on the mainland. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you have to have the blood test done before you come out. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on how much they charge you for the blood test, mm -hmm. depends on how much they charge you for your health certificate, depends on how much they charge you for your rabies vaccines. Um, what about the plane flight? Plane flight, depends on the airline. Of course, even for people, it changes every day. Yep, but it's a standard fee for animals. Usually, I think Hawaiian is 125, and now Alaskan, it used to be 100, I think it's 150 cabin or cargo. But that's if somebody's on the plane with them. Now, if you're just shipping your dog, say you've already come to the island and mm -hmm. somebody else is shipping your dog, which you can do as well, as yeah. long as all the paperwork and the process is done with the Department of yeah. Ag and they contact me to let me know when they're coming in uh -huh. so they can get their permit, they can fly the dog or cat over to the island unaccompanied, but then you pay by weight. So okay. it's more expensive that way. So usually the pets, um, whether they're a working service animal or a psychiatric service dog, um, they don't have emotional support animal program anymore because people were trying to bring peacocks and gerbils and things that oh, really wow. aren't service yeah. animals per se. Uh -huh. um, so for the people that have anxiety or whatever, or the people that were using the emotional support animal program, now they can use what's called the psychiatric service dog through the Department of Transportation. And do you have to buy an extra ticket for your, your pet to sit in? Depends on the airline, but most of the time they charge you a fee of $100 or $150 and the pet sits by your feet. And if they're in a soft-sided carrier, then you don't need any extra documentation except for your mm -hmm. permit and health certificate. Some people will buy the extra seat so they can mm -hmm. have the whole row with them and their mm -hmm. pet. How can interested individuals get in touch with you to schedule a consultation or uh, learn more about your services? They can email me, call me, and as you say, I get back to people pretty quickly. What's the actual domain name? Of Maui Direct Release. MauiDirectRelease.com. People can contact us um, whether they need Maui Direct Release or whether they need uh, Aloha Veterinary Care. Any other tips for anybody thinking about doing a direct release program to Maui? Call me. Okay. Best thing for you to do is to call me. All right, you guys heard it right here. Just give Karen a call. Give me a call. I'll get you guys set up, make it nice and simple, nice and stress-free. Sometimes we actually even help filling out the paperwork and okay. and that whole thing. Simple so, enough. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yep, just one, one little point. Yeah. If we're not doing our job right and you guys have problems, then that's where our problem is. Because if we're not doing our job right, mm -hmm. then you guys have problems. So mm -hmm. it's better to call, you know, the more times you need to call, then you call. Okay. I, because we pride ourselves on making sure that nobody has any whoopsies, nobody has any delays, mm -hmm. nobody has any stress throughout mm -hmm. the process. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, I think you just helped thank a you. bunch of people just now and you guys uh, give, give her a ring if you got any questions. All right, thank you so much. Thank Take you guys. Care. Aloha. 
Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate, Maui Property would love to help you. My name is Brett Christensen. I've been doing real estate for over a decade, been living on Maui for over 20 years, and I'd be happy to help you. My contact information is below. Good luck with your journey. Hope you're able to bring your pet here with no problems. All right, you take care. Aloha.